Hello friends, welcome back to VCP Technology. Today I am going to teach you about looping statements in RPGL program. So now let me create a program place F6 PR PRGM program 02 RPGL type is RPGL and here takes it plus f7 we need to type here star star free and I want to set to star in lr equals to star on now here we are going to tell you about the looping statements right so we have three looping statements which are for loop do I loop do until loop these are the three loops that we have in our as 400 so let me come from one by one so first I declare one variable and node and um, okay, I'm, uh, I'm starting the for loop for I have already told you that uh, as 400 is a non case sensitive language, which means you can write the up these are all called up codes, friends. You can write up, up codes in any case, not only up codes, whatever you can write, you can write in any case. So I'm writing like this for reading purpose, for readability. Okay. From for i equals to one to ten. And for this, so I'm displaying the I'm displaying i value. Okay. File this. Okay, let me explain to you about this. First, I is initialized as one. After that, it will come inside the inside the for loop and it will, it will display one. After that, I will be incremented automatically because here we have a non-visible code will be there here. So that is by one. Automatically, one will be increased. Increased. After that, uh, that will check the condition. 2 is less than 10, right? So it will come inside the loop and it will print the i value. After that, it will the i value will be incremented by 1. After that, it will check i value is less than or equal to 10 or not. If this condition is true, right? Uh, then it will come inside the for loop. Like this, it will print until this condition gets true. After i value gets 11, this condition fails, right? It will come out of this for loop. Okay, let me file this one. Compile, sorry. Compile this. Call this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here you can see all those values. Okay. This is optional if it is incremented by one. If you want to increment increment the i value by two or three or whatever the value you just mentioned over here, at that time it is mandatory. The by is mandatory. So file this one and compile this call this one four seven ten that's it which means it will set the condition first time when i is equals one the condition is true right i is mean one is less than or equals ten the condition is true right so it will come inside the loop and it will print the value after that it will 
increment by 3 which means 1 plus 3 is equals to 4 right it will check the condition 4 is less than or equals to 10 condition is true right it will come inside the for loop and it will print the value after that it will be incremented by 3 which means 7 the condition is again true it will come inside and print the 7 after that it will incremented by 3 then it will become 10 10 less than or equals to 10 condition is true it will come come inside and it will print the 10 value after that it will get incremented by 13 so the value is 13 now right 13 is less than or equals to 10 the condition is false so it will come out of the for loop and it will print the program so you have got a do while loop Okay, here I am initializing i value is 1. I am writing the condition 1 i is less than or equal to 5, which means the value until unless the value becomes 5, i value becomes 5, the loop will be repeated. First, it will check the condition. The condition is true, right? It'll, it will come inside the loop and it will print the i value. After that, it will increment the i value by 1 which means 2 the condition again the condition is again true it will come inside and it will print like this the loop, loop will be repeated and let me compile this one and call it 1 2 3 4 5 so not only numbers you can print like the text also like uh, hello you can print this for 5 times Compile this one, call this one, hello, 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 five times. Here you can see, hello is printed five times. So this is how the do while work. Now let, let me go for do until. It's a small difference between do while and do until. Do while will be executed until unless the condition is true do until will also be executed like do while okay until unless i will becomes greater than or equals to 5 the loop has to be executed that is the meaning of this condition let me explain first i value is 1 in the name itself saying that until this condition is true we have to repeat this loop right until i value becomes greater than or equals to 5 which means if i equals to 1 loop will be executed if i equal to 2 loop will be executed if i equal to 3 loop will be executed if i equal to 4 the loop will be executed if i equal to 5 the condition is true right so it won't execute it it will stop the loop so this this is how the loop will be executed. File this and compile this. Call it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 only. Again. Okay. So that's it for this video. Hope you understand, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.